Hey guys, I wanted to show you the three main ways to create vertical text, vertical text like this. And um, I got this idea when I was watching the Pixel Geeks video on vertical text, and this is what I thought he was going to do, but he was going he was talking about a vertical, like rotating it. Um, and then it just brought to my mind, uh, well, what if you wanted to do something like this? How would you do it? And so I uh, wanted to show you these sort of three main ways, and they're going to go in order of uh, sort of recommended. Uh, so it's going to be worst to better to best, okay? So the first uh, way you can do this is with multiple tags. So if you see here, I just have a div block with a bunch of different H1s and each is just containing one letter right here. And then um, the parent, we just have this set to uh, flex, vertical, and each of the child children um, are set to centered. And that's how I got it. But if you wanted to uh, justify it left or justify it right, that's how you would do it. Now, this uh, is not ideal and of course you could do this with grid and you can do this with different ways um, but it's not ideal uh, one semantically uh, because it's going to be hard for computers to read this like Google to read this and understand what it is um, or for people with screen readers um, it's going to be difficult to, to understand this also, it just creates a bunch of junk. So you have tons of DOM elements that you don't really need. They really should be together. Um, but you can do this, and especially a lot of times vertical text is more ornamentation than actual substance. Um, and so there's the first option. The second option is um, to use one character space and spaces. So here you can see now I've gotten a little bit better. So I only have one H1 here and I have all the letters inside here. But the one thing is I, there's a space after each one of these because then uh, because I have one character width one. So the, the H1 is the width of it is only one uh, character. Um, but I need something for it to break because if these were all together, it wouldn't break onto the next line because it's not going to break inside a word. So it, once you add spaces, then you have it vertical. And of course, you can just use normal justification to justify that however you want. Now, um, this is... Uh, not ideal once again because you're adding these non-semantic features in here, namely spaces. And so it's it's a little bit um, uh, jerry-rigging this thing, but it does work. Now, the best option here, I don't have it set up because it takes some custom code that you don't currently have in Webflow right here. Um, but it uses these CSS properties of writing mode and text orientation. Now, if you're wondering, um, can I use? Yes, you can use it. Uh, it's on 90, you know, 9% of browsers, so it's totally fine to use. And so I've got it here, and we're going to add these in. So we're going to come over to our vertical element, and we're going to add in writing mode, vertical, LR, left to right, and that turns it like this. And then to get the, the characters oriented uh, like you want them, you'd say upright. And then, boom, you've got nice vertical text here. Now, you, I'm sure you're wondering, hey, what about the spacing? That's kind of funky because this is what comes in uh, natural, naturally out of the box. Uh, then you might be thinking, okay, yeah, so just like you know, line height zero or something like that. But wait, that doesn't work. Maybe more or less? No, that's not working at all. And to understand why this isn't working is to understand what's the purpose of this writing mode and text orientation. And the purpose is for East Asian languages that are written from top to bottom, not left to right, like uh, Western languages, many Western languages. So if you're thinking in that respect, then you say, oh, well, that's not line height. That would be letter spacing. So if you add in letter spacing, then you can adjust that and make it how you want it. 
Okay, so this this is probably the best way to do vertical text because it's semantic. Search engines could understand this. There's nothing non-semantic going on. Um, and so this is probably the best one to use if you're going for vertical text. Let me know if y'all have any ideas for vertical text. And uh, if you have any questions uh, you'd like me to make a video on, I'd love to do it. Also, if you want to learn more about writing mode and text orientation, Rachel Andrews has, or Rachel Andrew has a great uh, post at Smashing Mag here. Um, and so I'll link it down below. It's great. And I'll see you later.